like when you guys are hitting the way you are right now as a team? And like, you could probably count out like every individual, but collectively that you guys are hitting this well with this much power, this much athlete. What is that like right now? Though? It's incredible. I mean, every guy kind of gets up there and they can do what they're they're up there to do. Everybody kind of just keeps the line moving. Um, we all have our own different skill sets, and I think everybody can succeed at, at their skill set if they get up there and not try to do too much, um, kind of just stay within themselves. Is there a feeling that I mean, there was the, the success hitting was coming before some of the injuries in the pitching rotation, but because of those injuries are there, is there? do you feel any kind of pressure as a hitter because you're down a couple of starters right now and you know you don't want to tax the bullpen as much as it's going to just naturally be taxed right now? Yeah, I think we get up there and try to help our staff out. Um, kind of just do what the game requires us to do. Uh, I don't think there's any extra pressure. We're still trying to put up runs as we always are. Um, so no, no extra pressure from the offensive standpoint, just trying to stay within ourselves and do what we can do. Now that we're 20 games into the season, obviously not all of them at home, but you know, what's the field been like and how has the transition gone from going from turf to going to dirt like at Stanford or San Diego? Yeah, it's a little bit different, but I, our field is incredible. Um, I'm just trying to think about comparing it to last year. I think it's it's awesome. It, it plays really true, kind of like a dirt field. You know, there's those coconut shavings on the the brown part of the infield, which play play a little bit different than the the grass turf. But going from dirt to, to turf, it just that Thursday practice is huge for us. Kind of getting our reps in and getting comfortable on the new field. How special was it, Palo Alto native, to get the Stanford uh, you know series? And uh, you hear any repercussions uh, from that? Uh, just just stuff from my family. Uh, they're all from there. My dad's a teacher there. My brother went there, so kind of a little bit of a bragging rights in that series for me. But just going out there with our team was awesome, and coming out with a series win was huge. How scary do you think this team could be ultimately? The way you guys are hitting right now, ultimately when the the pitching staff does kind of get healthier and, and get in more of a rhythm hopefully later this season that you guys are hitting your way you are and maybe they can come around as well. Yeah, we think we can be really good. We think we can be, uh, we think we can win a lot of games and do some really special things this year. Um, yeah. You're hitting in the five hole right now behind Jacob Walls in front of Anthony Hall. What's it like for you to have those two guys in front and behind you and for you partially with you know, hitting for power, which hasn't come yet this season? Is that something you've been working on, or is that just going to come as the season goes on? Obviously, we're working on that, and being surrounded by unbelievable hitters throughout the lineup is is really a blessing. Um, it doesn't really fall on one guy. Any guy can do damage in our lineup, and I think that makes our offense really versatile and really special. When you're looking at it, Josh, by way of the power aspect, are there things that you're you're consciously making adjustments to because you feel like there's something to fix, or is this just everyone knows you and they are making it brutally difficult on you to actually hit the power? Yeah, I think there's always adjustments you can make. Um, obviously, I'm working with Coach Martyr, but I'm still just trying to, to get on base for the guys around me and, and uh, kind of do my part in this lineup. How nice is it to have a guy like, like Tanner leading off and then that whole lineup to follow there? Couldn't be better. He's I can't think of a better guy to kind of get our offense going and spark us. Um, he's definitely a leader in the clubhouse and on the field, and we kind of rally around him. He was definitely scuffling for a couple weeks early in the year. What was it like to see him? What was your perspective on what he was going through and how he got himself to the place he's at now? Yeah, he's an incredible worker. Um, there was never a doubt that he was going to get going. Uh, I mean, he's in the cages all the time, before practice, after practice, kind of whenever. So there was never a doubt for him to get going. I'm really happy with the success he's been having, and I know it will continue.